Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am not able to find any reason why this quest is not giving me a marker, so I want to count this quest as bugged, and everyone else is also saying it's bugged out. If you don't turn in, apparently there's 20 pieces of evidence that you are not able to finish the quest line until you turn them all in. So this quest is bugged out, so I am not going to do it. Oh, it's right here. Coming to see a bona fide track. Oh, uh, I was on the wrong one. Well, aren't I a freaking idiot? <laughs> well, aren't I a freaking idiot? Never mind then. <clears throat> now, okay, hold on. Why wouldn't they put this quest in with this one? Or just this, you know, search for evidence. That ha- oh my god. Never mind. I guess it's not bugged out. I heard they found another new fish water closet in one of the mines. Why, hello there. What can I help you with? Have you come to seek assistance from the House of Enlightenment? We're here to serve the Sidonia community in many ways. While we don't have a belief in a greater power, we have faith in humanity that people will always strive to better the human race. As a community, we come together to help those in need. Food, shelter, basic amenities. We'll provide because that's what people do for one another. Yes, the Enlightened serve as a community-centric institution, much like a traditional church, but without religious faith. Oh, joy. Well, it's the community and faith in one another, which is important, not adherence to a particular religious dogma. You know what that calls for? <laughs> yep. About damn time! We'll always be here if you need something. Or just want to meet people. Actually, before you go, would you mind helping me out with something? I was debating with my dear friend Horace and would like an outside opinion. He believes that faith in a higher power is what inspires more people to be good. I <laughs> think that more people do good without any promise of divine reward or retribution. What do you think? Good point. Though I wonder if I had told you I would reward you for your time, would you have had the same response? You've inspired me to try a little scientific experiment with this theory. I'll have to ask more people, both with wow. and without awards offered, and see how they respond. Then I'll get back to Horace with the results. Thank you. You got any, um... Magazines back there that I can, you know, claim for myself. Damn. I like the view of your empty cabinets, not what you think. This is right where I belong. What's my family? Something I can help you with? Adler Kemp. Who the heck is that? And it would ruin the plot. <clears throat> of course, 
I owe money. Unless you're independently wealthy, everyone's in debt nowadays. I owe Deimos. I owe my landlord. I owe Galbank. Heck, I have a tab at Parsec Deep at Sespear. It's an endless list. So why don't you just leave me here? Let me get drunk and find someone else to bother. Okay? Adler, you said? Uh, nope. I think you have me mixed up with someone else. <laughs> Look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Adla, uh, Adla, Adla. Oh, wait, you mean that Adla? Yeah, sorry. I thought you were talking about someone else. <laughs> I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? Yeah? Mm. Uh, well, I mean, he doesn't really have a choice. Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now, okay? He can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? Perhaps he's already been through enough. I'm a miner for Deimos. It's not what I was hoping for out of life. But here I am. Yeah. It's a lousy company. It pays me a salary. But I depend on the profit sharing bonuses to keep food on the table for my family. Hey, hey, hey. Now wait a second. Just because things are tough, and I might be spending my afternoons at the spear. It doesn't mean I don't care about my family. Adler doesn't get to judge me. No, he's just a low-life pirate who thinks he can push everyone around. Mm, I could pay him. <clears throat> I'm gonna try this route instead. What games? Why are you doing this to me? I don't have the money. Four. No way! I'm already working my fingers to the bone! How dare you uh, try and, and, and threaten my family! Wasn't a threat. Hmm. I hadn't thought of that. Oh. Maybe if I rounded up some of my buddies. We could hit him when he wasn't expecting it. Huh. Yeah. Please, tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of a choice. Credits added. Yup. Have something for me? There, would you look at that? 
I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? Nice. Nice! You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? If you haven't figured that out by now, then maybe you aren't cut out for our line of work. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. Only one point of Moera's patrol route to work from. That's how it goes sometimes. Weren't we supposed to find out where she was for... <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. This works out for both quests. We don't have to go to Venus after all. We can just find her right away. By doing this quest line. Excellent. I mean, it may not count it, but I mean, it might. <clears throat> hey, what am I doing? I can just do this and then go to Europa. I 
Ariana. I was afraid of that. Look, we are not built for combat. What is it you want exactly? Why did it automatically? Oh, why? I had my ship slowed down. Why does it? Oh, dude, that is so weird. We have a clean dock right on the money. sure what to make of you being here if you wanted to kill us you could have done that from your ship if you wanted our cargo we could have jettisoned it i guess i should just stop talking and let you say your piece mm. that is true which means you don't want somebody to know what you are really up to now, do you mind telling us what this is all about? Uh... You really do not know which one of us is Rake, do you? And you do not seem to care either, which makes me think you really want to save him. Okay, I have idea. We can strike his name from Manifest, make it so he was never on board. Then, when we dock, we will leave him on this ship and deliver him to another port. Is that all right with you, Austin? Do I have a choice? It does not appear you do. Well then, it is agreed. You go back to your ship and we will make sure Rake was never on ours. And in case any of your handlers get suspicious, here. We had an extra crate of supplies loaded, in case one got damaged. This should be proof you were not here to bargain. His voice key, sounds you familiar. Two pistols loaded. Thank you. So now what? They're gonna put me in a cis death prison? I'm not saying it's worse than death, but it's pretty damn close. We will make sure Rake's name is taken off the manifest. And I hope you do not take this the wrong way, but I hope our paths never cross again. Yeah, his voice sounds familiar. I think it's the same voice actor as, um, Rajam Dar from Ugh, ESO. I could be wrong, though. It isn't the same as the real thing. I could be wrong on that, but it sounds like the same voice actor. He's just doing a, um, accent. Normalizing. Undocking complete. XP for that. Nice. Mm -hmm -hmm. Damn, Mercs just don't know how to take a 
hit. Hey, Brooke, wanna help me with some target practice? Enemies ground drive disabled. We've taken out their shields. We've taken down their tags, their engines. We got hurt a little bit, but it's fine. I want to gather the loot now. That is rightfully mine. Oh, some ship parts. Heck yeah, we could use those. I'll go ahead and use that, because why not? Um, I will do this, and then I will do this. No, actually, I won't. I'll do this. Except that wasn't the job. I don't want to steal from Rake. I want him drifting in space, 
getting eaten from the inside by his own guts. That being said, you saved my ass with the cliptic. And decent pilots are tough to find these days. So I'm gonna let this one slide. But guess what? It's gonna cost you extra. Jettison those supplies I know you grabbed from the Regana. I was gonna let you keep them. But now, they're mine. Consider it payment for the hit I'll have to put on Austin Rake. And more importantly, for wasting my time. Of course I am. You don't think I'm just gonna let them slip through my fingers, do you? Maven pay Ecliptic to do the deed. How ironic would that be, right? <laughs> Report to the Vigilance. So we're in despite the fact that we screwed up. Look at all of this. <laughs> you see, sister <coughs> certainly isn't taking the Crimson Fleet threat lightly. Hmm. <laughs> the vigilance is our flagship. Where it goes. You have permission to speak freely. We got the message from the Regana about Austin Rick. We had him dropped off at a separate port, off the books. Suffice to say, he's got a lot to answer for. That's a smart line to follow. Part of this role you're playing means having to make hard choices. Just remember not to lose yourself in the part. I'll do my part to make certain that doesn't happen, Commander. Oh, one more thing before we move on. For transparency's sake, you should know we were the ones that hired Ecliptic to attack Neva's ship. There was concern after what happened with the Regana that you might have trouble earning Neva's trust. Coming to her rescue ensured that would not be a problem.
They are mercenaries for hire. If they are paid enough money, Cliptic would attack the Vigilance. It wasn't terribly difficult to convince them to attack an isolated Crimson Fleet ship. Just expensive. Ah, so I take it you have good news. Were you able to join the fleet? Then it worked. You're in. Sounds like everything is going as expected. Now it's time for the next phase of the mission. Our intel on Searsha was correct. After we received reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. Our files indicate she's second in command, so getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. The woman has a record that could stretch across Seoul and back. She started young as one of Neon Street Rats, and worked her way up to second in command. Hmm. She's a force to be reckoned with, so don't underestimate her. Yes. You pass your first test and you're still alive. But before we get too confident, that either means she suspects nothing, or she intends to make an example of you later. Uh -huh. Just remember, these are ruthless criminals, so don't let your guard down. And their ruthlessness is only surpassed by their cunning. You should proceed with caution, regardless of how well you think you've ingratiated yourself. So what's next for you on Neva's agenda? Excellent. If you're heading to the Key, I assume you'll be meeting Delgado soon. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. I have a profile here with some information on his background. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. Agreed. The last thing we need is to infiltrate the fleet, only to be kicked out because we've underestimated one of their people. I don't disagree, but it's important to know your enemy and the best way to defeat them. Uh -huh. In any case, now that you're with the fleet, you'll be operating independently. We will shadow you eventually, but we'll need to maintain our distance for now, especially while you're on the key. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. I hope your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. It certainly increased my estimates on success. Keep up the good work. We'll expect further reports. Dismissed. Alright, so we got some... <clears throat> so he's hot-headed, competent, and seasoned. Is a Crimson f Fleet ship captain out operating out of Sidonia? Short fuse, temperamental, intense, incendiary. Clever, shrewd, careful, and calculating. All right. Heard the Regana made it to port with zero casualties. Cool. Back to our ship then. Captain, hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. Back on board. 
All right, let's see where this takes us to and see if we're able to go there or not right now. If we're not able to go there, not a big deal. All right, so where is this taking us? Yeah, no, we can't go there quite yet. So that area is... So we're going to put a stop on this area. All right. Uh, I could do some of the... Yeah, where's this one at? Akiva. Okay, yeah, let's go here. Now, is that counting towards... Oh, it's not, so I'm not actually at the limit, am I? No, I'm not. Okay. That's fair. I'll be there eventually, though. Fair enough. Actually, what time is it? Okay, I'm gonna quit after I go talk to this person and do whatever it's supposed to be to do. Bit up there, huh? So you want to come here for a half day? Full Welcome to the Co Heritage Museum. I offer a brief tour and I'm happy to discuss the city's history as well. Hi! Please feel free to have a look around. It's the reason I started this place. That is not something I expected to hear today. I assume you're somehow associated with the United Colonies? I've received some odd messages of late. Most in the Collective aren't overly fond of MAST or the UC in general. I tend to share that sentiment. Lost a cousin in the Colony War, you know. Well, I'm afraid you've wasted your time because I'm not authorized, nor particularly inclined, to release any of our pieces. That includes hundred-year-old tree branches. Sorry, but it's staying in storage. I have artifacts that date all the way back to the time of Solomon Co. himself. Uh. I hear what you're saying, but I'm afraid it's out of the question. Four. I don't want to Critical it, success. I can't believe I'm doing this. Please return it in one piece. Well, that was easy. Just like, put her mind. Those don't exist anymore, do they? Particle weapons damage both. And that's what I'm using, Did right? You know it's I used particle? to have near the top. Yes, I'm using particle. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hmm. How 
far the mighty have fallen, eh? All right, so we got this guy's tree branch. It's amazing to think that this tree predates New Atlantis. Can you imagine all the changes? Have you paid a seen? visit to Miss Castler in Aquila City? Yes, yes, of course. I'll see that it is returned to her in one piece. Well, perhaps minus a few shavings. Now, I just need a moment to analyze this and synthesize an audio response to our friend here. Right? So we'll feed in a sample. Now the program will incorporate the genetic and chemical makeup of the sample, extrapolating the size and structure of the original tree. This was put together rather hastily, so complete accuracy is impossible. But I'm hoping it's enough. And there it is. Our best hope for a positive solution to this mess. So, we now have a simulated response to our tree. All that's left is to play it. <laughs> I'm quite certain you couldn't achieve the necessary register. Far too low for human vocal cords. I've been forced to listen to this SSNN kiosk chatter incessantly this entire time. I think it could be put to better use. We don't have time to go through the proper channels, but if you can find a terminal and get this uploaded into their system, it might do the trick. Okay. You're right. There's a chance that there could be some minor adverse side effects, but none would be life-threatening. We won't play the broadcast loud or long enough to cause any major or permanent damage to humans or other organic life. And aside from that, if we don't calm this tree down soon, well, I fear that the vibrations it's emitting will eventually reach such strength it could severely damage our internal organs. I have no doubt that you will. Alright, so now we need to go... Where? Commercial district. Okay. Turn to the tree. We've done it. I'm already seeing reductions in the strength of the vibrations. The tree is calming down. I can hardly believe that word. I don't know. We've been in uncharted territory this whole time. That doesn't stop now. With the immediate crisis hopefully over, I can slow down and review everything we've learned. And certainly, I'll be keeping a much closer eye on our friend going forward. And you, you have saved this tree and advanced our scientific knowledge of our environment. Noble work across the board. You have my gratitude and that of every citizen in New Atlantis. Though they don't know it. Good work, bartender. 
Won't be the last time you'll be hustling information in some spaceport. All right. Well, I am going to put a cut here, and I will see all of you next time with some more Starfield. <clears throat> if you all enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more, and have a wonderful day.